Hey everyone, welcome to the post video wrap up. Uh, thanks for sticking with us to the end as always. So in that video we decided to make our improvised wire pull fuse igniters using paper book matches. There's a couple reasons for that and we'll go over those real quick and then we'll get you on your way. Uh, one is you get 20 matches in a book of matches. The reason that that's good is one you have plenty of flame to ignite your fuse with but the advantageous part is is they are separated into two bundles of 10. Uh, using something like wooden kitchen matches or strike anywhere matches, each match is its own individual unit, and we found that it takes about anywhere from six to eight to get a good coverage over your fuse, which means you have to handle six to eight individual items that you're trying to get in place, trying to work with. Not impossible, but definitely much more difficult. The other reason that we like book matches is each individual book comes with its own striker. The striker is necessary to make the device work, but with stick matches, you only get one striker on the side of a box of say 300, so you have to keep chewing up more and more of your striker pad in order to make your device work. Uh, the problem with that is, is eventually you run out of striker pad, but you still have several matches left over, which makes them increasingly difficult to work with. Uh, Strike Anywhere matches, while they do sound advantageous because even if you don't have striker or your string striker doesn't work, you do have the option to try to strike it on any type of rough hard surface. The problem I found is that over the years the quality of Strike Anywhere matches has drastically decreased and so they're not very reliable. Um, same with general safety wooden matches. You don't get a consistency in the amount of material that's in the head of the match. I found the paper matches seem to be much more consistent uh, overall across the line. Um, as far as cost goes, uh, that's another thing that can be advantageous with book matches. But just a forewarning. So I bought matches, book matches in packs of 50 so there's 50 books in this individual box and I bought a case of 30 of these boxes so I ended up with 1500 of these now I bought them on clearance probably about four years ago so I only paid a dollar for this pack here which means I got 1500 books of matches for roughly 30 bucks um, I don't know that that's uh, something that you're going to be able to find in that price range today, but I still believe that these are a better option than your stick matches. Uh, if you do not have book matches in your prepper gear, your survival gear, or just laying around your garage, I recommend getting them. We'll use them for a lot of different videos, but they're just a handy item to have. This is a small piece of, uh, piece of mine that doesn't take up much room. Got the ability to make 30 or 20 different fires with it, uh, or using it in the way that we did. So, if you don't have book matches as part of your inventory, I recommend getting them. Uh, if you want detailed instructions on how to build that device, there'll be a link in the description. Take you to our website where you can download those. It helps us out, helps keep the videos going. Uh, also, if you're interested, leave a comment and we will do a short comparison video of the uh, paper book matches versus the device made with stick matches. There is a little bit of difference in how they burn. Uh, not much. The end result is pretty much the same, but again, if you're interested, we'll make a short video about uh, comparing the different options. And uh, as always, thank you for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.